Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about possibly buying a magic store. I might do it. I might do it for a few different reasons. So I own a graphic design agency, I own a marketing agency, and I own a photography videography agency, BigGale.com, which is brand new. The marketing agencies, I mean, they have three different websites, actually four. Uh, PPCHire.com, Gutterless.com, RunRex.com. It's all pretty much... It's like Coca-Cola, but how Coca-Cola brands itself as Coke Zero, Dark Coke. What was Dark Coke called? It's like Coke of Coffee. It was really, really good. I think they discontinued it. And also, we expanded into something else, social media. I don't know. We have a bunch of websites. I'm not entirely sure what we all do. Uh, but we do content and stuff. MTG Line will actually be a website. You can check it out right now. There's not much on it, but it is probably the most beautiful website I've ever seen. Well, it's definitely the most beautiful website I've ever made by myself, but it is gorgeous in every single way. So mtgline.com. Now, obviously, I would open the store called MTG Line, and that would be the name of the store because it already has YouTube. It already has branding. And that would be the way to do it. Now, the deal here is actually very good. So I went over the inventory. I emailed from my company email to... I wouldn't buy as an individual. This is hell as an individual. But as a company with other assets that would like to add a storefront, which sells board games. So all my employees are under... Well, not Sophie, but most of my employees are under the age of 25. So they would love to work in a game shop, but doing digital marketing and stuff like that. I could see this actually as a very interesting pitch to our clients tell. Obviously, we would move all this stuff into a better location. We did have a location in a mall, but the mall flooded due to Hurricane Harvey. Uh, yeah, Hurricane Harvey. I was almost going to say Irma. I was like, why am I thinking Irma? And that whole location got flooded, and that sucks because... Well, it doesn't suck too much because there's a month to month and we just paid an extra month and we got out. So we're looking for a new location. We found one in a cool part of town, Montrose. So we live in Houston. We might be in Montrose. There's also a place right next to the Fat Cat Creamery and the Hugs Donuts that we're looking at. So if you live in Houston, you know those two places are amazing. They have the best donuts and best ice cream. Hence, I want to be located right next to them. Which makes sense for me, at least. Again, a lot of our employees are super young, like incredibly young. Isabel was 22, uh, Nat was younger, Amy was younger. Uh, I, they were about the same age. Uh, Brandon, I think, is 21. I'm the oldest, which makes me the CEO, just by default, pretty much. Like, what was Matt? Matt was like 27 now? I don't know, but everyone in the... I think they would go for it. Just bunch of young people. Jessica is what is he? She's like twenty four. Well, I met her when I met her. She was twenty two. Kyra is like twenty five now. So essentially, everyone in the company is super young, uh, including our developers, including people we want to hang out with, like Austin and other other people that we just hang out with on a daily basis. And I think buying a game store actually makes sense for our company. Now, obviously, they want $35,000. I'm probably going to negotiate that down. I'm thinking twenty seven five. dollars I don't know what any of this stuff is worth, right? I need to take my friend who owns a game store to the place and perhaps we split it 50-50. We're really big on the splitting stuff. They're a really good deal. So if a good deal comes in for him, like the Inuyasha DVDs that you're going to see a little later, then he'll just give it to me. And if a good deal is like two, a lot of times when someone has a collection like this, they want to sell it as a whole and then refusing to split it. This person would never say, oh, I'm going to take half of it. Okay, cool. I'll give you half and then I'll wait on the other half. It defeats the whole purpose of them getting out of the business. So I'm interested in buying all of it if not half of it if not a quarter of it depends on how my many of my friends want to get into the bidding more but i feel very confident i can secure part of this i haven't talked to my friends yet and i have to talk to my main one who owns the game store because i think this one makes a lot of sense for him 
he's no longer carrying magic. So for him to carry board games and as you can see legacy figures up there and he probably would allow me to keep all the cards and then he would keep the board games and we would figure out what's split. And maybe we have a friend who plays Warhammer. I don't know anyone who plays Warhammer or like paints and stuff. Like he definitely wants the toys. I can already tell you that these toys on the side, he's actually probably super interested in. The cards, I want all of them. I want the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I want the Magic cards, I want the Weiss, I want the card by Vanguard. I definitely want the Pokemon, but he probably wants the Pokemon too. Because Pokemon does sell for him. So he does buy product, Pokemon product. He just doesn't buy Magic product anymore. I might go for it. You know, I'm probably going to make a very decent offer. I'm going to check out the store. I'm going to take my other friend with me and see if we can uh, split it. It might not be a 50-50 split. I'm guessing from this these images, so the store is a small store, but it is st stacked to the brim of stuff and it's like crazy stuff and they have pretty much put a ultimatum which is you either buy everything or we're going to be in business they want to get out of business but that's a very good thing for me and my friend because very few people will have the capital to make them an offer north of twenty five thousand. i need to look at the inventory i need to figure out what all of them cost but i can imagine i bought a graphic design a very famous graphic design library which is now in pieces because my graphic designers have like taken books home. They have taken stacks of books home, like books that like so many books home that they couldn't carry anymore or fit them in a car anymore. But I bought a graphic design library from a famous place in Houston called My Domi. So this is right up my alley. I like buying things of this nature just because it's like buying a home. Not many people will be able to bid on a home that's X amount of money, right? So my home is quite expensive. And I knew that if my offer was good, it was a fair offer and it made sense for the seller to sell it to me for that price. And when they came back to negotiate with me, I said, no, because I'm the only buyer in this market. And if you want to go out and find another buyer, well, you had uh, two years to find, or not a year, like a year and a half and you couldn't find anyone. So this is the price and they took it it's kind of the same deal i'm going to make them a, a deal now how do i want to finance it i probably will finance it via one of the companies maybe the photography company big L, just because it's newer and a lot of times when you have a new company you can buy new furniture computers laptops everyone again the key here is everyone on my team is super young and they would eat this stuff up they would just eat it up. It would make them so happy. And then I could recruit more people. And then we could sell board games on the side, I guess, like to clients. I don't know how it works, but it's interesting. I'm, I got to crunch the numbers to see like what company will be able to put money into it. But my friend is definitely, I mean, my friend owns a company that sells board games and video games. So for $35,000 for everything here, Assuming they have some cool anime figures, assuming they have some, you know, you get the chairs, you get the desk. It makes a lot of sense because I could decorate, I could go to Montrose, grab a really nice place, and I could decorate it so well. I mean, just the walls, the board games, and we're already paying, I think I've mentioned this, but we're paying this um, artist who's 13 years old, and she's very, she's just the cutest artist that you can ever imagine. And she like takes it, like, it's funny because he's like so professional about it when she's with, when she's like talking to me about like her art. It's funny. Uh, maybe I'll make a video. I, she's 13, so I probably won't make a video of her talking about art. But it's just the cutest thing. And we commissioned her to make tiger paintings. And she's been doing pretty well, but we don't have enough decorations. And I definitely would love a wall of this stuff. So I'm going to keep contacting the guy. Now, eventually, you know, I'm not going to pay 35000 for it because I don't. Again, I don't have no idea what this is worth. Maybe it is worth eighty-five retail, but if it truly, it, I just know that there's not that many people who can make an offer on it, given the price point and given the fact they will not split any of it. So these are binders. They have Dragon Ball Z, which is not a good game card. That no matter what people tell you about some games, they're just dead and there's no value in it, and you can. Go to Dave and Adams and you can find the booster boxes for less than $20 a booster box. So free shipping and free stuff. 
There's monster binders are really nice. I love monster binders and I can't have enough of those because I have like infinity cards. I'm probably going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to give them a real offer and I'm going to let my friend do all the work to figure out what this stuff is worth since he's kind of the expert and then I'm going to split it with him. Probably not 50-50. To be honest, all I want are the cards. I don't want any of the miniature figures. I don't want the toys. I don't want the board games as much. Maybe the board games, I would want them, but I don't want the um, the deck boxes and stuff. I mean, it's just not the hero clicks. It's not stuff I would want. Okay, you can see there, there are figures in the back. Uh, maybe they're hero click figures, but still, figures nonetheless, I w he would be super interested in, especially anime. This would be the type of place that would have a ton of anime figures, right? Just a ton of them. And I'm almost certain that there is more value in the back. So this is what they're stocking in the front. Every store has a back. Every store has a back. And it will be interesting. I mean, I honestly am going to make a play on it. So now why am I telling you this? Well, if you want to go in and buy this with me, let me know. Let me know. Like, this is not like a fake thing. I will, so I'm a startup attorney. Well, okay, so I work with startups and previously I was a startup attorney helping startups, you know, set up their paperwork. If you want equity in this company, then let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Uh, if you want equity in the stock, if you want 25% of this stuff and you can move to Houston, then let's split it. And you leave home with 25% of the stuff and so I can put down 5,000 personally, but anything over five, like it gets kind of, uh, it gets kind of tricky. Uh, I probably can put up up to 10, but I still want, I, I don't want, I don't want to put 27 and a half. I think that's the price point that they're going to accept. My gut feeling tells me that they are 35 is too high and 30 is what they want to come back at, but maybe 30 is correct. Anyway, I'm making this video. If you live in Houston, if you've ever wanted to open a game store and you would own part of the game store in equity, then let me know because I'm interested. I don't want to run the said game store. That's why I'm getting my other friend involved. But if you want to run a said game store and you know a business model and we meet and we go to Uchi, which is my favorite restaurant, and you present like a business model, yeah, I'll, I'll fund half of it. Why not? Let's try it. Uh, half of it, mm, if I can split it five ways, then I can pay for it personally, right? Without the business being involved at all, which is nice. It's nice. Our business has investors and they do look at my books every month. So I'm pretty hard to justify. I, this is one of the things that I would have to get approval first to do. But nonetheless, it's interesting. Anyway, bye guys.